Yeah, what's up? Yes, I'm testing the email integration now. Why? What? No. <sighs> no, I'm sorry. No, the emails have already gone out. I, I can't stop them now. Okay, look, I'm really sorry. I'll fix it as soon as I can. Okay, bye. <sighs> If you've worked with email in your applications before, there's a good chance you've accidentally sent emails to people you didn't intend to while testing. If you're lucky, the emails have gone to a handful of people and no big deal. But in a worst case scenario, you may have accidentally emailed your entire customer database, which can result in unhappy customers, reputation damage, and very uncomfortable conversations with management. Nobody wants that. But it's also important to test your email routines to make sure they work. In this episode of Decoded Quick Hits, we're going to take a look at two ways you can perform safer email testing and avoid accidentally emailing the wrong people at the wrong time. The first approach we'll look at is built into the OutSystems platform and is as simple as setting a checkbox in Service Center and adding a list of emails you want to use for testing. The second approach involves using an online service called MailTrap, which is available with a free tier to configure your development environment to send emails to, providing an alternate means of ensuring your emails are being sent properly. Let's take a look at a demo of each of these options. All right, so to demonstrate these two ways that we can do safer email testing, I've set up a very simple application. This application just simply retrieves a list of users, which you'll be able to see in this grid. And when I click the send test emails, it's going to call from a client action. It will call a server action that's going to receive the list of users and then cycle through that list of users. And then we'll send a simple welcome email, which is just the welcome sample email to keep things quite simple. In Service Center for my demo environment, in the Email tab under Administration, I have my email configuration. Now for this first part, I needed to set up an SMTP server and I'm using Amazon's simple email service for this purpose. And I just need to set it up with the server address that's provided by the SES service, SMTP port, in this case I'm using 25, and then the username and password, as well as the sender email and sender name. Now, one of the things that's really important to understand is when you first get started with simple email service, if that's the service you choose to use, you will be put in a sandbox mode. And while you're in that sandbox mode, all emails that you send to or any emails that are in the from, reply to, et cetera, any of those emails must be verified. So you will have to enter them into the Amazon SES console, have them send you a test email, and then click on the link to verify those email addresses before you can use them. Once you move into production mode, you'll be able to use any email address you like, but in the sandbox mode, you'll definitely need to do verified emails. I found that out the hard way by finding lots of error messages, so little tip to help you out there. What I want to demonstrate here, however, is this redirect emails to testless functionality. So you simply need to check the checkbox and provide a list of one or more email addresses that you want to use for your test list of addresses. OutSystems will, in this case, reassign the send to address for that email to the list of test list addresses. So instead of going to the to address that's in the email itself, which would come from that list of users in the case of my sample application, it will send to this test list of one or more addresses instead. Do note that when you make this change, you will need to click save and apply the settings to the factory. And also just be aware if you've not used email in an OutSystems application before, that this configuration applies to the entire environment. So in this case, I'm in a development environment. That means any applications that send emails from within this particular environment will use these email configuration settings. If you need to provide more of a per app settings, there are components in the OutSystems Forge that you can use to customize the SMTP settings on a per app basis. So jumping over to my email application here, I've loaded it up, I have a couple of users showing up and I've substituted some email addresses that would come to me if I used the standard way of doing things. I'll click the send test emails button and that's going to send emails behind the scenes. I don't actually have an acknowledgement here, but we'll see in a second that those emails will get sent. Heading over to Gmail, you can see that I've got two emails, both with the title Welcome to Test Company, which is something I set up in the email itself. And I've got one for Anne Olivaria and another for Andrea McKenzie. And if I take a look at the one for Anne Olivaria, you can see 
If I look at the entire message, I've got welcome to the test company, the two addresses, the address that actually came out of the database, but the email is sent to my substitute address and you can see how the email will be viewed in Gmail. The upside of this particular message is that no matter what the email address is that comes from the database, the emails will always go to the test addresses that you've configured. So no worries about sending emails to people that you don't want to send emails to. Now let's take a look at the other way that we can approach this, which is using, again, the service I mentioned called MailTrap. So I'm already logged into my MailTrap account. You need to have an account to use MailTrap and the place that you'll land when you log in should be this inboxes area. And I have one inbox called Demo Inbox. There is a limit on the free account in terms of the number of emails that you can receive. It's pretty generous, so it's pretty easy to use to get started. So I'm gonna click on my Demo Inbox. And what you'll see here is that it shows me a number of ways that I can integrate with this for various languages, anything from Node, C Sharp, et cetera. In my case, the main thing that I need to look at is this show credentials. And in the show credentials and some of these I'm gonna have blurred because this is my account, but it shows me the host name, which is smtp.mailtrap.io, the ports that are valid, the username and password, which you can reset if you need to, the types of authentication that are available, and you have the ability to optionally use TLS or secure encrypted communications. You also have tabs for email address, auto forward, manual forward, team members, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset my email configuration to use MailTrap, and then we'll rerun our demo. And of course, now that we're configuring from MailTrap, we can uncheck the redirect emails to test list and we'll save and apply this to the settings to the factory. And those settings are applied. Now we'll go back to our test application, refresh the application and send our test emails again. Head on over to MailTrap, refresh our inbox, and we'll see that the emails show up in MailTrap complete with the email address that came from the database and the email with the welcome to test company, welcome to Andrea McKenzie or to Ann Oliveria. Some of the nice features that you get with MailTrap that I like, you get the HTML view of the email, you get the HTML source text raw spam analysis in case your email has characteristics of spam, as well as an HTML check that gives you kind of a test of what kind of mail apps your email will be supported in. So you can see most of the majors are gonna work just fine for my emails, but there are definitely some places where I could look to improve in terms of the particular CSS that I'm using that might not work with some of the different email clients out there. So that's a quick overview of a couple of different ways that you can perform safer email testing in your OutSystems applications. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give us a like and consider subscribing to the OutSystems YouTube channel. Also, please hit the bell icon so you can be notified of the very next episode of Decoded Quick Hits. Thanks for watching.